G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and thank you very much for joining me for another Wasabi Cars video. Uh, I'm feeling a bit deep in thought at the moment and I'm just pondering the question, what is Wasabi Cars? And first and foremost, it's cars that are rusting in Japan. That's how it started and uh, it's something that really, it gets the feelings feeling when, I, when I'm car spotting. It's always an excitement that I feel, it's, uh, it's great. And there's one other thing that I get very excited about when car spotting, and that is when I find cars thought to have been lost, extinct, and yet there they sit in the car park. And as I look at them, I think so many other cars just like it have been crushed over the years, recycled, or rusted to death, and yet there are some people out there who are willing to go to great efforts to maintain their cars. And that is of course what you are seeing right now. Uh, it happens every now and then, you know, I'm in the car parks around the place and I see cars like this and this. And I don't always get a video, but um, fortunately there was lots of space around this particular car. And I could spend quite a bit of time with it and I took way too many photos and minutes upon minutes of video footage because I was completely blown away by this car. I'm not entirely sure where to start with this car, but I guess I should start with the four-door sedan. They were so popular in Australia back in the day, and I've seen a couple in Japan, probably three. And there's another example, an absolutely stunning GT. But there is another car far closely related to this two-door hardtop, and it is the Toyota Celica. And it's really apparent when you see the door mirrors there. And then beyond the doors you've got different front fenders, hood, headlights, grille, and the whole rear of the car has different sheet metal, but it's right at the door where you can see the Celica underpinnings. Now more specifically about this car, it is the GTT, meaning it should have the 3T GT EU engine, that's an 1800cc engine with a turbo. Now let's take a walk around the car and talk about the styling. It is super square and I think the designers wanted it to be even squarer but the wheels and tyres had to be round. The headlight and grille are reminiscent of the sedan and yet it looks a little bit different. Otherwise it is super square up front. You can see the colour coded front bumper and a lip under the bumper. Wheels! Beautiful Toyota snowflakes, I think that's the name for them. Now working our way to the C pillar and that is just spectacular. Sort of the faux wraparound rear window, interesting. And the styling is quite abrupt as you get around to the back. Uh, the tail light sitting on the angle there, very, very odd I've got to say, but hey, it is what it is. And the chrome emblems, GTT and Toyota Corona, three stacker tail lights, color coded bumper, interesting little lip on the boot lid there. I'm not sure if that's original or not. I'm not sure where that came from, but uh, looks a little short. Now you can see there is a Toyo Pet sticker from Sendai. So this car originally came from Northern Japan and the plates on it at the moment say Osaka. So this car has got around and I'm glad it has. Yeah, it was such a surprise to see this car. I was at the front of a car show just yesterday. It drove past and I literally walked two kilometers to track it down. I took a stab and just took a direction and ultimately I did find it and uh, so glad I did. Just amazing. Okay, check this out. This is the type of steering wheel that is in this car. I, of course, couldn't show pictures of the interior, but this is the best I can do. Now, this one says Twin Cam 16. The one on this car would say Turbo, but basically that wheel. So, question of the day. Tell me something about the 80s. Now, when I was driving to this car show with my buddy in that uh, Toyota Crown, we were listening to Guns N' Roses and a bunch of other things, but uh, very, very 80s. So, please tell me your memory of the 80s or think of something from the 80s. Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much everyone. Take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi cows and a little bit of wasabi.